All right, y'all, today we're going to do something different. <laughs> Turn your head once now I don't. I'm going to go through all of my jewelry, and I'm going to get rid of some jewelry. Let me show you guys here. I've got my little picture frame DIY jewelry setup that I saw on a Pinterest. And then my little owl hanging jewelry. And then I've got jewelry over here, all my plugs and whatnot. I've got jewelry in there. I've got broken jewelry in there. And then in this little container, I've got more plugs and stuff. So, let's go ahead and we'll take it all down. We'll go through and we'll get rid of some. Let's do it. All right, y'all. I think I got all of it. This is a ridiculous amount of jewelry. And then some plugs. And it's an especially ridiculous amount of jewelry for someone who rarely wears jewelry. Let's begin. 90% of these pieces are thrifted or bought at yard sales or flea markets. And the ones that aren't, I'll let you know if I remember any stories about them or anything like that. So the first piece is a watch with some pretty filigree on the back. Hanging pendant. They almost likely keep that. So, put it with the owls. I got two watches. Here's the first one. It's just a plain black with a little diamondy, and then this southwestern one. I'm going to go ahead and keep the southwestern one, and I'm going to pass along the black one. And we've got this piece. Just a plain necklace. Necklaces I wear the most often. I have not worn this one in a really long time, so I'm gonna let it go. This little bracelet I made because I got to go to a little steampunk festival with a couple of buddies of mine. They're, they're into steampunk. And so I made this little bracelet with the little jars to wear to that. And most likely I'm gonna give that to my friend that's in steampunk. This necklace I actually got from an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> see if we can get the cameo to show up here. It's quite dark. There we go. So there we have a little cameo and I super love this. So I'm actually gonna keep that even though I think my ex-boyfriend like took it from his mom to give it to me. Anyway, bye. I'm gonna keep that guy. Alright, let's look at some rings here. I can say without a doubt that I do not wear rings. So let's see, the first rings are these. It's just a set of three and they have little shapes on them, little silver rings. There's one, there's a triangle, square, and a circle. I think they all are. There's another one. It's got the fun gemstones in it. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust my camera because this, this angle is not good for light. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that one. That's huge. This one, I think, is super gorgeous. However, I'm pretty sensitive to jewelry, so this one actually makes my finger turn super green. Come on, focus. I was just trying to keep this one for like a decoration, but... Lord knows I don't need any more decor. This one, I used to be the manager of an auto parts store, so I wore this ring nonstop for a really long time. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it because it's nostalgic to me. And I know nostalgia isn't worth much, but maybe one day I'll wear it again. Here is a glass ring that I've had for a super long time that I never, ever, ever wear. So that one's going to go. And then this one, which I love this type of southwestern jewelry. However, this one again makes my finger turn green. So it's fake. <laughs> Is silver, 95. It's like a little tulip. Ooh, it's super pretty. I'm going to keep that one. And one mole again. This one is real turquoise and silver. And this is my kind of jewelry. 
it got super bent up but I'm also gonna go ahead and keep this one necklaces this one here is an amber bead necklace that I actually thrifted for my daughter because it's super small so I'm only having that in here because I'm saving it for her so we're gonna keep that one this one I really love and I thought was super cool however it is extremely small also the choker or I have a big neck, one of the two. So that one I'll probably sell. I don't know if you guys know about this. But I've had this necklace since... Like early 2000s. <laughs> the puka shell necklace. So I grew up in Southern California. And at some point, I don't know if it's true everywhere. But definitely where I lived, these were very in style. <laughs> so... There's the at. I'll probably pass this on to my daughter or I'll just save it because it's nostalgic. <laughs> I have an issue with nostalgia. So this little thing I bought at... I think you guys saw me pick this one up at an estate sale. It's kind of a pretend stone. It's more of like an acrylic kind of a material. Anyway, never worn it since I kept it, so it's going to go to my daughter for sale. A tangled mess. This is just a plain chain. Plain old chain. I'm gonna keep it. It's a good thing to hang stuff off of, so. This is a vintage necklace. And it is actually glass beads. So these have that look of like the acrylic beads or bake light or whatever, but they're actually glass beads. This necklace is pretty small too, and I haven't worn it yet because I can have anything to wear it with. It's super fancy. I'll probably sell that one. My mom gave me this, and there's a matching bracelet, and it's like black pearls and gems or whatever. Pretty, pretty. I'm going to keep it because my mama gave it to me. I had this one for a really long time. Do not remember where I got it from. Sort of just a statement necklace. Kind of a bronzy tone. Haven't worn it in a long time, so that one's gonna go. Here's one of my favorite necklaces. I actually bought this on eBay for like, I wanna say it was like 70 something cents. That yeah, looks like an old deer head. Pretty filigree. I wear this one quite often. So on the hanger it goes. Here's one I got a long time ago. I don't know the origins of this one either. Um, just sort of like a plain, really pretty, and it's heavy pendant on this crusty chain. Um, I'm going to keep that one because I've had it for a really long time and I do wear it. Got another one, one I keep for my daughter. Oh, come on, show it, show it. There. It's like a fun little coral design in there. I have a flower and stuff. What's next? I got this one recently from a buddy of mine named Vicky. She gave me this as a gift for one of my baby showers. And I can't wait to be able to wear it because the first time I wore it, I hurt my child with it. <laughs> but that's a really pretty necklace or bracelet. This one I also wear somewhat often. It's just a beaded chain. There's my little coverlet thing with uh, a couple different colors on it. This tends to match a lot of the things that I wear, so and that's just a fun beaded chain that I wear pretty often. So we're gonna keep that. My little brother gave me this one recently, the last time I saw him. And I actually have a pet spider, so I do like spiders. I prefer the large ones, if that makes any sense. I don't like the tiny little spiders. But a little spider captured in resin that I thought was really cool, my brother gave me. I don't get to see my brother often. He lives in Idaho. And I live in Pennsylvania, so... We don't get to connect too much. This one I really love, and my friend Trina actually made this for me. It's supposed to be a deer head. <laughs> 
with the stone inside and then the copper wire wrap. A couple black stones, hemp necklace. So this one I can't wear. I would love to, but it gets caught on literally everything. I'm the most accident prone. And so to not break it, I just display it as an art piece. Dang guys, I got like dumb, dumb amount of jewelry. There's this one, which is a flower, Woo. dried flower, captured in like a resin. I think that's like super duper pretty. And I'm definitely keeping that one. I wear it really, really often. Here's another one that I really love. I think me and every other female on the planet has a super duper soft spot for lockets. So this looks like it actually was one that might have held perfume or like chapstick or something because it's got a deep well and no way to hold the picture really, but pretty. And I love gold, so it's really pretty for me. I'm going to keep that one. There's another one I wear really often. It's got the little like teal colored stone with the pretty flowers. This used to have like a beaded thing that hung off the bottom of it. And it no longer does. I could probably add some stuff to it, but so that one's pretty. I'm gonna keep that because I wear it all the time. So it's a chain with a chain inside, and the inside chain is this guy. Little star pattern, and it opens. Ta-da! Which makes it cooler. So, bam. There's that. Definitely going to keep that one. Here's like a little flapper necklace. Got the chains at the bottom. It's kind of shiny. Definitely made plastic beads. That one's going to go to my daughter. I bought on Poshmark, actually. I got it in a bundle with some other stuff. It's just a resin, like, crescent moon. With a bunch of crap shoved into it. <laughs> I have a thing for the moon, so... I went ahead and got that. Here is a small necklace that I've had for a really long time. It's pretty. It's got the, uh, let's see if we can pick it up, the little gems in there. Don't say anything on it. I think I'm going to pass this one on to my daughter. It's a very simple, pretty necklace. Right, here's a piece that represents my hip hop style. <laughs> it's a shiny triangle big chain necklace. That again, I have not really worn, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that on. I'm trying to edit down here quite a bit. My friend Chrissy made this for me. She is the sister of Trina, who made the other the hemp necklace for me. So this is a, obviously an octopus on a knotted necklace. I'm gonna keep that one, even though I haven't worn it in a really long time. My friend made it for me, so I'll keep it. This is one of my faves. It's like just a really, really pretty little branches, delicate, with the little shiny leaves and the gem at the bottom. I'm gonna keep that one. This one, which is another like super pretty type of floral or filigree pattern. And then on the other side, it's got this enamel clock, which is chipped in a couple places. But I don't know, this one kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland a little bit. And the chips don't really bother me. And I wear often. There's one I can see that I don't wear. There we go. I got this one at Walmart. I use these, um... These, like, the beads inside of here. Or these, these charms to make other jewelry with. Mm. But that one has like really pretty teal blue beads in it. I don't wear this necklace, so let me pass that on. All right, here we have a really pretty vintage necklace. This has, these are glass beads and I'm assuming real pearls. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> this one is super tangled up and I don't feel like untangling it, so. But it is a starfish. With the little Jimmy inside. You see the little Jim Jim hanging there. And it's a double tiered necklace that I cannot seem to untangle. Here's one I wear really often. And again, this is one of those Walmart pieces that I picked up when they were on sale. 
So this one's super fly. I used the gold chain from another necklace and attached it to this acrylic piece. And I super love. Alright y'all, let's keep it moving. Here we go. Here's another puka shell necklace. <laughs> With a different style. This one's kind of cool. Uh, it's got like spirally shells. Gonna give that one up. Haven't worn it ever. I don't think I've ever worn that one. This one I made out of a couple of other different little pieces, like the little shells, and then I added the amber glass hanger dealy. I got these off of like a candelabra thing that was busted and then it had a bunch of these super pretty amber glass beads on it. Let's see, what's this? This is a newish one. I don't know if I've given it enough of a chance, but I don't seem to be wearing it. about that. I don't seem to be wearing this one very often. So I might just let it go. Let me get the gist of that one too. This is like a dangly jobber. Here it is. This is ART on the back. It is just a pendant. A cross pendant. If you know anything about it, let me know. Probably sell it. Put it in my little pile of to seal things. This is just a little clock. It says Paris on it, but this is like a modern little pendant thing that you can't see. But yeah, it's there. Prompts. That can go. I I have my ears stretched so I don't wear earrings. And I only kept these because they're silver. <laughs> and they're Celtic. Oh come on. Celtic. No earrings that you can't. There we go. So I kept those because they're silver. I'll probably still keep them. Uh, same with this Celtic knot charm. I'm Irish, so boom. There's that. I used to wear this one a lot more. Uh, I don't really wear it much anymore. I'm gonna let that one go to my daughter. This one breaks really easily though. All the shells like fall off of it. This is very similar to that silver necklace, but it's a white one with the dangly tassel on it. It is a really pretty abalone necklace, white beaded chain. Sometimes I wear it this way. And sometimes I wear it this way. And I'm probably going to sell this one and let it go, because I don't wear it really often. It's like a southwestern red coral and turquoise beaded necklace. Probably guess that I've had this necklace longer than any other necklace that I own. It's like a leather strap with a shark tooth. And I probably got this on the boardwalk somewhere back in the day when I was younger. I'm definitely keeping that one even though I never wear it. Uh, this is just, I don't know, a charm I guess thing. With a cameo and a heart and a look. I'm going to give this to my daughter probably, or I'm going to put it with my beads, things to make into other things. Here is a, an antique or vintage pearl necklace. And I especially love the clasp on this one. Are you going to show up the clasp or what? It's like a push. Let's see if I can push, pull it out. That's cool. So, anyway, uh, I did, or I still do, I guess, collect these little Hummel characters, the boy and girl under the umbrella. I think it's called During the Rain or After the Rain or whatever. That's a Hummel. I got this one I used to wear a lot more often as well. At this point, it's probably vintage. <laughs> and so, look at this. Look, look. This is how long it's been since I wore it. It's that dusty. <laughs> so, obviously, we're going to let this one go. As much as I love the colors and everything, I don't wear it. So there she blows. This one I bought at a Buffalo Exchange in San Diego. Like, I you know it had to have been a million years ago because I haven't been there in a long time. So it's got the different colored triangles that hang down. I don't really wear this one either. And the reason why is because when you wear it, like these little triangles flip around and stab you in the neck. 
so pain is beauty but in my case I just won't wear it <laughs> so we're gonna let that one go my daughter made me these beautiful beautiful pieces here and then I'm probably gonna keep those because she made them for me well, I'll show you guys here real quick they got I have this little bolo tie necklace collection and I'm not going to get rid of any of those because I collect them, but I'll show them to you. There's a deer head, really pretty flower, got your drama mask, a blue stone one, this blue I promise. <clears throat> and then here we have the brown heart, another pretty flower. Excuse the dirty wall there. This one, my name is Danielle, so I love this one. It's like a bow. This one I bought from the Block Vintage, Mary, from the Block. I haven't worn it yet, but for my collect. Uh, a little bear paws, bear claws, whatever. One of my other favorites, which is just like a little shell. And this one, <clears throat> which is super broken. And I found has a little pearl inside of the little filigree piece. That one's super delicate, and I'm definitely keeping that. And then there's this necklace piece, which is actually missing the chain part. It just like hooks on to whatever you want to hook on to. It's way too gaudy for me, which is saying a lot. So this one's a super pretty little white rose on a delicate chain that I'm also gonna keep. And then I got this one, which is broken. But easily fixable. This one I really love. This is like a poison necklace. So it does open up. And as you can see, it is a bit rusty and crusty because unfortunately I took it off and left it outside. But I'm gonna keep it. Because maybe I can replace the chain. I can clean it up a little bit. Got the guitar pin. Batman pin. I used to be a super big Batman fan, an even bigger Riddler fan, so I've got a bunch of Batman crap. <laughs> Here's one. Here's another one. Let's see. There's another Batman pin. This one says, chilling with my nomies. <laughs> Self explanatory. This one used to have something hanging off of it. I'm not sure what. Cute little cat with his milk jug. Green Bay Packers pin. And we've got this beaded bow, which is really pretty. And this artistic whoa, cat pin, which is also one of my faves. I have a couple more pins, but they're like attached to stuff at the moment, I think. I'm like pretty sure it's a clip to your collar, so it kind of looks like you're wearing a pearl necklace in between. And then this one actually had a button that you hook it to on the one side and then you hook the other side, so it's a similar concept though. Very self-explanatory, little fancy bracelets. I haven't worn bracelets. I couldn't tell you the last time I actually wore a bracelet, so most of these are going to go to my daughter. There's that one. one this one which has like cool I think they're horse heads maybe something jade this one looks like a bike chain but it's super fancy shiny this one I'm gonna keep it's tiger's eye super pretty gift from a friend and even though I don't wear it, I'm going to keep it. This one looks like a little bicycle. <laughs> Cute. This one is the Tree of Life. I'll keep this one. It's like a mother of pearl or abalone and lay on a silver band. These two go together. Bangles. Shiny, bling bling. Don't wear that either. Um, I think my mom made this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think my mom made this. Keep that. It's an amber bead. 
bracelet. Here is another beaded bracelet. And this one looks like a book time. So that's a modern one. I got that on eBay for my kid, which I don't know how it ended up back in my jewelry. All right, so there's a nice big pile of all the jewelry that I'm getting rid of and not keeping. Still gotta go through earrings, a web ball. Here's what my picture frame hanger looks like. And a little silver jewelry and my owls. Much, much better. Ooh, wearing the daughter's necklace. <laughs> So that's all the necklaces, bracelets, pins, jewelry so far, minus the earrings, which I wear plugs. You guys don't need to go through those with me anyway. We'll we'll get them organized too. And then at a later date, we'll go ahead and finish up the rest of this dresser situation that needs adjusted. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And in the meantime, you guys, happy hunting.